What is going on guys, Pat on the shop, and tonight we're back at our YouTube 355 build. We're finally back at this thing. Uh, we, let's talk about where we're at, where we're going, and what the plan is. Let's take a look. You have to speed on the bottom end uh, if you're just new to this series or you just forgot what we're, what we're doing here. Um, but it's basically a 355 um, 880 roller block roller end. So it's just a, a 350 board 30 over. This is a late model block. It's got the provisions for roller cam. Uh, it's got, this is actually a really nice blo uh, block. It's a four bolt main uh, roller block with uh, provision for fuel pump as well. It's drilled for the fuel pump. Uh, so we will be running a roller cam in it because it's one of those things if the, the block has it you might as well run it uh, It's a little bit more money than a flat tablet, but overall it's just a better idea So we're gonna run a roller cam and we'll talk about the cam in a second it's got uh, forged uh, like GM forged rods with uh, ARP bolts uh, just a ca cast one piece rear main steel uh, crankshaft uh, we put summit flat top pistons with valve reliefs in it uh, the, the, the block's been decked, they're about 9,000 in the hole and we're going to be running a 28 thousandths of an inch uh, head gasket so we're going to have a nice tight quench on it, uh, fairly tight. Um, so overall it's just a really nice solid bottom end for your street strip, or, uh, street strip, street strip um, engine and uh, I think it's, it's going to be suited well to a lot of guys that are building similar combinations. Um, we will be dynoing this when we're done. Let's take a look at what uh, heads we picked and the cam you guys picked. So let's take a look at that. So the heads you guys decided on uh, was the DNA Performance advertised as 200cc uh, intake runners. It's got 68cc advertised combustion chambers, um, 20216 valves. Nice, actually nice head. It's just like the budget series AFR, almost the exact same casting. And if you go back and check out my videos, I did a flow comparison between uh, a head like this and an AFR enforcer. And uh, they're almost identical other than these have the regular 11, 30 seconds valve stems versus the 8 mils. Um, so other than that, they're basically the same. Uh, so that's the heads you guys voted on. We're going to fit this uh, uh, with a nice beehive spring package, guide plates and all that stuff. And I'm also going to be doing some, uh, just some cleanup in the ports and I'll give you final flow numbers when I'm done with that. The, act the other head actually is on the flow bench right now. I was starting to play with it a little bit. I'm not going to really go ahead and port these because uh, honestly, uh, I think like for what we're doing with them with a 355, I don't want to take too much out. Uh, and I, I don't think there's a whole lot of flow benefits unless we went to a bigger valve with this and with porting. So I'm mostly just going to be doing cleanups and I'll give you a final flow numbers on these uh, so you guys have an idea. So that's the heads. So we got the block, we got the heads. The last vote was on the camshaft. So a little sneak peek there. It is the summit cam. So let's take a look at that. We'll uh, take it out of the box and see what you guys think. So here's the camshaft we picked, part number, um, it's the Summit Racing part number 8803 and it's their actual Summit Racing brand. Uh, you guys are gonna like this camshaft, really nice looking camshaft, uh, well oiled in the bag and made in the USA. So I know you guys will love that. Um, this is a really high quality piece. I am not sure who makes these for Summit. So if anyone knows, uh, comment below and let me know, you know, if all goes well with this cam, which I don't see foresee any issues, I will definitely be interested in running these cams again. The price is decent, um, but just the quality, it's like, I don't mind paying. It's, it's a bonus when the price is decent, but the quality is top notch and made in the USA. So this is a, a really nice camshaft. Let me throw the cam card up. Uh, if you guys are unfamiliar with the cam, uh, let me throw it up on the screen here. And uh, I've actually never ran this cam, so it's going to be uh, neat to see. So We're pair this cam up with a set of uh, Comp Cam's roller rockers. These are just the 1-5 ratio full roller uh, rocker arm. And then the push rods will be determined once we get uh, the, the heads and everything on, we can figure out the length. Uh, we're going to go to a, I always run one piece push rod, so we'll be running a one piece push rod. Um, but once we get to that bridge, we'll cross it. Uh, so let's take a look at our next choice, which is the intake manifold. And let me see what you guys think of that. I got three options here. Uh, I've tried to pick some different stuff so you guys can decide. So let's take a look. We'll start off with, uh, the single plane we got here. This is an Offenhauser, I think is how you say Offenhauser, that's how I say it, I don't know if that's right. Port Sonic, uh, this is an old intake. Um, I don't even I don't even remember where I got this thing, but it's been sitting upstairs. I think my original idea was to use it for something for a boosted kind of blow through application. 
Um, but that's it's a low rise single plane intake and we should be able to make it work on our YouTube 355 if that's what you guys decide. Uh, it's in fairly decent shape. Um, I'll have to put a better plug in here. It has that front plug uh, for if you were like running it on like a 327. Um, but we can we can we should be able to make that work. So if that's something you guys want to use, we can definitely figure something out with that. Let's take a look at our second intake. So our second manifold option is what I call, always call the budget dual plane. This is the Edelbrock 2701 Performer EPS intake. Um, it's got the crossover, which we wouldn't be using anyway, but this is like your standard small block Chevy replacement intake. Uh, it's got a RPM range of idle to 5,500. Uh, it's a low rise, it's not super tall. I think it's about 4.2. Uh, was it 4.27 inch uh, height? It's not. It's just kind of a basic small block Chevy intake. But this is what a lot of guys run. This is just your, you know, your upgraded standard aluminum Edelbrock intake. So I had it upstairs. I thought, you know what, this will be a good option for our regular small block that we're running here. Let's take a look at our third option. Oh, and before I forget. Don't worry, we're gonna be cleaning these intakes up. I'll probably make a video on how we can get these intakes looking brand new again. Uh, so don't think that we're gonna put it on like that. But anyway, for our third option is our Edelbrock RPM air gap intake, part number 7501. One of my personal, probably my personal favorite uh, street strip intake you can put on your small block Chevy. Uh, it's got an operation, operating range of 1500 to 6500 RPM, uh, so you can jump it up a little bit and push that even a little higher if you add uh, a decent sized spacer on the carburetor too. These will pretty much pull to about 7000, no problem. So great option, uh, great intake. So it's really up to you, what, what guys, I'm not trying to push you to what intake we should go with, but it's up to you guys. This is the vote, so don't forget to vote in the comments below. Uh, single plane, the 2701, or the air gap. What one would you put on this engine? Vote on what you like because we're just putting a combination together with no specific purpose other than to have fun and see what it makes on the dyno. Uh, so that's basically where we're, where we're at with it. Um, the votes will be much appreciated and I'll tally them up um, before the next video on this, uh, which I'm, I'm, basically I usually tally them up after a week. Um, so let me just give you a little sneak peek on the engine that's going to hit the dyno before this. This is the Dingle Ball 355. Um, this is going to be a very interesting engine to see on the dyno. This is going to be the first one that's going to hit the dyno in a couple weeks. Um, this is a Vortec engine, so a Vortec uh, headed engine. It's a, uh, a bottom end I had it in a trade in, but I put a set of Vortec heads. These are 20216 Vortec, so uh, they have b bigger valves put in them, and I've done quite a bit of porting to these. Um, they're flowing. Uh, and I'll do another more in-depth video, but just to kind of get you guys excited about this, they flow 260 plus CFM on the intake and uh, just shy of 200 CFM on the exhaust. Uh, so there's some decent porting went into these. Uh, it's it's just over 11 to one compression. It's got a decent cam in it. It's a flat tappet. So this is like a budget build uh, kind of like performance budget build. And it's, I'm I'm hoping with the cam that's in it, uh, and again, I'll go into more detail. It's going to be uh, tuned on the dyno at 94 octane gas, so it'll run on pump gas. Uh, so it's going to be exciting to see what this thing makes. Uh, this is again, this is just something for fun, no intended purpose. But I know you guys love Vortec heads, so it's going to be uh, pretty neat to see. So don't forget to like and subscribe because this one is hitting the dyno in a couple weeks. Thanks, guys.